Hi everybody, I'm Chris Wook from Android Authority, and get ready, as we're about to break down five of the best apps for the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Now to do this, we had to establish a few criteria. First, the app had to be awesome. Second, it couldn't come pre-installed on the Note 2. And third, it had to make use of some of the more unique features of the Note 2, like for example, the S Pen. Now that we know what the rules are, let's get started with the first app on our list. If you're like me, and I know I am, you can barely write your name legibly, let alone draw anything interesting. The first app on our list, Sketchem, aims to change that. First, choose the picture you'd like to draw from the included packs, and Sketchem will show you step by step how to draw the image. When you finish, you'll get to see how well you've done. Personally, I think I'd need some more practice. Sketchem also has a free sketching mode and a creator mode which lets you create your own drawing lessons. The app is a free download in the Google Play Store. When you look at apps optimized for the Note 2 or the rest of the Note series, you're going to see a lot of note-taking apps. It's like the developers saw the name, had a eureka moment, and thought, I know what I'm going to do for an app. Of the many note-taking apps available, the second item on our list, Papyrus, is my favorite. Using Papyrus couldn't be easier. Once you've created a new notebook or a new note, just write down your notes with the S Pen. If you need to erase something, just swipe it away with your finger. Papyrus is a free download in the Google Play Store, but there are optional in-app purchases like PDF export and cloud uploading options. The third app on our list, Photodesk, is a combination of a photo organizer and a photo editor. In addition to using the S Pen, it can also utilize the Note 2's split screen feature. Hovering over an image or folder with the S Pen will bring up a little info bubble, and pressing the S Pen button will bring up a contextual pop-up menu. It's also easy to resize images, add text and audio, and move multiple photos around with drag and drop. By far, one of the coolest features is Photodesk's Map View, which shows a map displaying where various photos were taken. This makes things like organizing your vacation photos way easier. Photodesk is a free download in the Google Play Store. So, you've learned to draw using Sketchem, and now you're looking for something bigger and better. Now would be a good time to check out our fourth app, Flip a Clip. When you were a kid, did you ever make flip books? Well, Flip a Clip is like that, except it's on your Note 2 instead of the corner of a notebook. You'll have to create your animation one frame at a time, but even if you're like me and can't draw, you can still end up with something pretty cool. Flip a Clip is a free download in the Google Play Store. Plus, its name is really fun to say. Our previous apps have either helped you get things done or learn new skills. With our final app, Scribble Racer, it's time to finally just have some fun. Sure, you can use the Note 2's S Pen for a ton of games, but Scribble Racer was actually built for it. It seems simple at first. Put the S Pen on the screen, and don't crash into the walls. Pick up stars and fruit and candy, which for some reason fills up your slowdown meter, which you can activate with the S Pen button. As the game continues, it gets faster and faster, and eventually, you will hit a wall. Still, it's surprisingly addictive. Scribble Racer is a free download in the Play Store, but it is ad-supported. And that, my friends, wraps up our list. Now, let me guess. You disagree. At least about one app. That's totally fine. Just let us know what you would have included instead in the comments below. Now, if you want to get into a little more detail about these apps, we have a written article at AndroidAuthority.com. You'll find the link to that in the description of this very video. We always have new videos going up on our channel, so if you want to stay up to date, make sure to subscribe. I'm Chris Wook from Android Authority, and thank you for watching.